Alright, hey guys, this is Advanced Simplex 05 here, and I'm here to present my EST IO64 fire alarm panel, addressable fire alarm panel. This is my first addressable panel. As you can see, I just have a few troubles right now. NAC1 and battery. I don't have batteries, and I don't have a resistor on uh, NAC1. Only came with one resistor on NAC2. So, I'm going to demonstrate. I have two SIGA 270 poles. I got six of them, but not using them. I just put them away for right now. And I have a EST Genesis L series horn strobe um, Co3 coating. Um, so, yeah. And I also received two SIGA isolator bases. Excuse that, we're doing some work next uh, in a room here doing some work. Anyways, here's the way I set it up. The panel is pretty good. Came with the dress panel. It's a used one removed from a building. So, yeah. We'll start with the one of the Sigma 270s. Um, let's start with device 4 as it says on the panel so here and the pole station is already here sorry I mean now it is so I'm gonna activate device 13 which is this one so you can see the LED on the back of the addressable module flashing somewhere yep there it goes and And now we will reset. And we have a system reset. And we still have the NAC1 trouble and battery. And I will go ahead and take off the dress plate for you. So where you can see over the top of it. Okay. Here's the plastic dress plate. And here's the panel inside. The um card the addressable card there and it has it going to these two pole stations first it goes to this pole station and then it goes through this wire to the next device device 13 and here the NAX like I said only on res only resistor on NAC 2 is the resistor NAC 1 doesn't have one that's why you see a NAC 1 trouble um, basic panel easy to program um, just have to get used to many of the f stuff on it um, anyways it is a very nice compact panel EST nice it's a very good panel um, and that concludes my demonstration video thanks for watching